What up guys, it's your boy Pete, back here again with another video, and yeah, as you can tell, there's a lot of changes going around in my room, like we had to add a new shelf to my room because like there's nowhere else to put it, and my like, sister, we were moving out of her apartment and all this stuff, yeah, so basically, my room has no space, which means this background is pretty much useless, I put a bunch of books up here, and stuffed animal, yeah, that's about it, but nonetheless, we're going to be doing a video today, we're talking about the king. James drives, steps back, puts up a three. Bang! LeBron James from downtown! Oh no, not that king. That king goes bang bang. Today we're talking about Stephen King and his Dark Tower series. In which there are actually quite a few bang bangs. If you know what I mean. If you've read the book, you definitely know. If you've read the first line, you probably know. If you've read the cover of the first book, yeah. Not my, no spoilers today just going to be giving you a little heads up on what you're missing out. Let's get started. We're talking about the Dark Tower series today. It's written by Stephen King. If you don't know who Stephen King is, yeah, that's pretty sad. Okay, so basically, there's seven books of this series. There are two other books, I think, that go along with this series that he wrote after, but there are seven main books primarily, primarily in the series. And yeah, so to get started, I don't usually watch or read Stephen King. I've read one of his books beforehand, and that was Under the Dome. And but I've heard I heard a lot about him, so I decided to check this one out. Honestly, the first time I really heard about it too much is when the movie came out, and I haven't watched the movie at all. So I've just finished the series, so I'm just going to talk about, uh, without spoiling it, just what I thought about the book and why you should read it. So first things first, it's a long series. What I mean by that is not just seven books is long, but like the first book is 200 pages, like or over 200 pages. The last book is over 800 pages. So literally the books progressively get longer. That's a general trend. It's not exact, but yeah, they're pretty long. So you're going to have to put a lot of time and effort into it unless you're like a super fast reader, which is not me because I started this. I read the first two books of the series last summer and then... I finally like just spent this summer basically reading Stephen King. That's all it did. But yeah, I finally got through it, and yeah, it was pretty worth it. So uh, if you're interested in Stephen King or if you've read his previous books like uh, It or like any of those, he's written a lot of books, obviously. But you definitely are going to like this book because it, Stephen King and his writing stays. I, I don't know if his style differs between books, but if you like Stephen King, you're going to like this book or this series. And basically, what the book is about, without giving away anything, is about it's about guns. Bang bang. As you can tell, the first book is called *The Gunslinger*, so obviously it has something to do with guns. So, yeah. And then also, it's about basically about quest. It's a quest of a man to find this thing called the Dark Tower. I don't know if I just gave away a lot, but that's it's a quest to the Dark Tower. You'll find that out pretty soon. So it's not a huge deal, but basically, in my opinion, we all have quests in our life. We all have things we're searching for, things we're seeking to get, seeking to find, seeking to get, whatever. But, yeah, I think you can relate to it. Whether or not Roland's personality is, you find it too, uh, like, direct, uh, willing to push anyone out of the way to get what he wants, whatever it is, you'll find something that you like about this book, I think, in the series. You'll find a character that you like. I found quite a few characters and then but obviously the one main thing is that it's a long book and a long series and you so you're gonna have to put a lot of time and effort into it and honestly my thoughts was that it was very well written like he t Stephen King ties in so many references to our life he ties in stuff like you're reading two books you're, you've aren't you're on like the sixth to seventh book and suddenly he pulls you back to a moment in the third book and you're just like oh shoot how that, that all ties together and you'll have a lot of those moments in the series and throughout the series so look forward to that the only thing is there are a few times like honestly he didn't need to go for so much length like 
I feel like he didn't need to go into details in certain areas of, of the series, but it all works together, I feel like, and everything is sort of used. And if you can just get past the length, I think you should be good. And also, this book is not an easy read, so what that means it's interesting. Like, first things first, it's interesting, and it's intriguing, and you'll like it, but it's also not an easy read, which means that reading it will make you, like, it will help you read, like, your school material and also, like, just help you in life, like, because reading is really important. So I think it's good to keep up that skill, so that's also a reason why you should read it. And it also might make your writing a little more creative, who knows. So I think the AC just stopped blowing. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the book. And I might make, this is no spoilers, but if I wanted to make a spoiler one, just let me know. If you want me to make one, just let me know, so. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, unlike, dislike, unsubscribe, and have a pretty solid day, evening. It's raining outside right now, so I'm sad. Actually, no, I'm pretty happy because it's been freaking hot. Summer's hot, it's humid, it's nasty, but when it cools down, when it cools down when it rains, so that's always good. But yeah, peace out.